All right, everybody, welcome back to the Ohio Fisherman. Uh, today we're going to do a video talking about what spawn sacks are and how to make them. I've had a few people ask me about making a video about them because you've all been seeing me use them for my steelhead bait uh, sometimes. And I'm sure you've heard people talk about them. So we're going to go ahead and get all into all of that now. Uh, what I'd like for you to do is take a second, like my video, subscribe if you're not subscribed and you do like my content. Let me explain what a like does. So the more likes a video gets, the more it recommends it to people looking for that content, okay? Subscribing is free. What happens is, is if I hit a thousand subscribers, which is no cost, no notifications to you, it will... I'll be able to monetize and monetize. In other words, I'll make like half a cent of you or something like that. So take a second and do it. Okay. So back to spawn sacks. What are they? They are a netting full of trout or salmon eggs. Okay. Now you can get the salmon eggs yourself. I mean the, well, you can get the salmon eggs yourself, but not in Ohio. You can or actually order them online. Okay. You can order the salmon eggs cured, ready to go off eBay. Okay. And you can even order them in spawn sacks off eBay. And they're pretty good. I've ordered them off eBay before, and they work just fine. You do not want to just get one of those jarred cured eggs or row from Dick's or Walmart that's sitting in that jar. That's, that's garbage. It's not going to... I'm not going to say it's not going to work, because you would catch one on it. But it's not going to work. It's trash, okay? So you could just put in cured spawn sacks, cured salmon eggs on eBay, or you can catch your own steelhead, especially now when they're big, fully developed eggs, and you can get them yourself, okay? You can clean them off the skin. Um, you can cure them or not cure them, okay? And make your own. Uh, I'd have to get with my buddy Mikey about how to cure them, maybe do a video about that because he cures all the eggs, okay? All right? So... That's what a spawn sack is. That's what it's made out of. And I'm going to take a little break here. And we're going to go ahead and tie some up and show you how to do it. All right. Now, there's many different brands, many different colors. But just keep it simple. Mike's Atlas. All right. Do not buy their jarred eggs, like I said before. Okay. There's some spawn knitting right here. There's pink. And there's chartreuse. Some guys use red. I don't like red. I don't know why. I just don't like it. Some guys do really well on orange. I stick with pink and chartreuse. Those are my tried and favorites. Uh, pink's my fave. Chartreuse sometimes work good too. All right. And then you're going to need the magic thread. We're just keeping it all Atlas right here to make it easy. But there are different brands. Um, but that's what we're going to go ahead and use. All right. So these are some steelhead eggs from the last female that I harvested. And those are pre-cut three by three inch squares, okay? Now I have some big globs on there. I'm going to make what we call cannonballs. Uh, they're for your more muddy, muddy to heavily stained water. As with most kinds of fish, you know, the more clear the water, the smaller presentation you're going to want to give. Uh, the more muddy and stained, the larger presentation. So we're anywhere between dime size even nickel sized cannonballs is what you're going to want to make with these. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and get this. We're going to fold it up as nicely as we can. And you want to try to pop as few eggs as possible. Okay. Just want to get it. And this is so sticky here, too. See, that is a big cannonball right there. So we've kind of been, everything's a little bit muddy right now, so. Everything just came right back up, too. So we're just going to take some of the thread. It says three times, but I do more than that. One, two, three. Pull it tight. One, two, three. Pull tight. Snap it. We got it snapped. We're going to grab some scissors here. Cut it off. Bang. There's a cannonball. 
right there. And that, my friends, is a spawn sack and how you make them. Now, these will be good, these cured ones. These will last a long time. You can do them uncured, and, you know, they'll last about a week, and then they get really nasty. So you don't absolutely have to cure them, but if you want them to last a lot longer, get used to the whole season, uh, you should cure them. And that's going to wrap up the what a spawn sack is and how to make a tutorial. Hope it helped you guys.